Welcome. On behalf of the Computer Science Department at the University of Northern Iowa and Google, our corporate partner and sponsor in this program, I'd like to welcome you to an introduction to programming with Scratch in education. My name is Dr. Ben Schaefer. I'm an associate professor of computer science at the University of Northern Iowa, and it's my voice you're going to be hearing over the next couple of weeks as you complete this course. Furthermore, you may have the opportunity to interact with me through email or online chat sessions, or you may be interacting with one of my colleagues. But regardless of who you're actually dealing with, we want to make sure that we welcome you to what we hope will be a very beneficial course. Through the learning units in this course, you'll get a chance to explore and interact with Scratch, a language that I find to be a very powerful graphical programming envir environment for students of all ages. Now, we're not going to teach you every last feature of Scratch, but the content of this course is designed to give you enough exposure to a wide variety of commands and applications that you can feel comfortable introducing Scratch to your students. I've been teaching Scratch since about 2007, and during that time I've had the opportunity to teach it to upper elementary students, to secondary students, I've used it with my college students, and I've taught it to adult learners, mostly in-service teachers like yourself. I've discovered that Scratch is an exciting way to engage students of all ages and experience levels with the creativity and problem solving that can be associated with computers programming and computer science. I'm hoping that over the learning modules in this course, you too can begin to see how Scratch can be incorporated into your classroom, regardless of what your teaching discipline happens to be. The units contained in this course are designed to be appropriate to a wide range of learners. We're confident that if you give the units enough time, roughly three to five hours per module, you'll come away being comfortable using Scratch with your students. As you complete the course and as you watch the learning videos, take the time to follow along and work along with what I'm doing in the videos. Explore additional functionality at your leisure and comfort level. Understand, you don't actually have to become an expert at Scratch. You only have to learn enough to point your students in the right direction. I can honestly tell you from years of experience that a significant portion of Scratch will teach itself if you can simply get your students' curiosity up and running. Now, having said all that, know that we're always available to answer your questions, both during the two weeks of this course and also during the school year as you're working with this with your students. So, as you're working with this course, my suggestion to you, make sure you set aside enough time to actually complete the course at a comfortable pace. Set aside a couple of hours each morning or afternoon, whatever fits best in your schedule. Sit down, work along with the lecture videos, give an honest effort to look at each of the uncollected, ungraded tasks. Make sure you give yourself enough time to complete the graded homework assignments and submit those. Then when you're done, walk away for 24 hours and come back the next day to start the next module. Trying to cram multiple modules into a single day just doesn't give you the time to reflect and digest the material and think about how you would actually use it with your own students. As you work through the course, make sure you keep an eye on the announcements section of the page where you'll see a list of scheduled office hours. Remember, as I said just a few minutes ago, we're here to help you. We'd love to interact with you and answer your questions. We want to make sure you're comfortable. We've set aside multiple blocks of time each day that the course is actually running to interact with you. If for some reason you find that one of those blocks of time doesn't fit your schedule, then send me an email. Again, that information is on the announcements page. Contact us. Try to schedule some additional time that you could meet with one of the course facilitators to chat with you and work through your difficulties. We are here to help, and we want you to succeed in this course. I'm excited to get started. So when you're ready, scroll down a little bit further on this page. You'll notice on my page that it's down below where you normally get started, and you'll see the schedule for this course. Click on Unit 1, Getting Started with Scratch, and start working through the lesson videos. Good luck, have fun, keep in touch. 
We hope you find this course as beneficial as we think it can be.